So hello there, this is an update about the uh, breeding and rearing of Bombix Mori. As you can see in the German playlist six days ago, I was harvesting all the cocoons and uh, there have been um, around uh, 100 grams of them. But what happened now? Look, the cocoons, they have some holes here. And, of course, if you have a closer look here, you see these are all the mosses of the mulberry silk worm here. Very freshly emerged from these silk cocoons. And now they are already mating here and I have to prepare something so that they can lay their eggs, the females, because you know these are so domesticated animals they even can't fly around anymore, they just wait there. Uh, on the, especially the females until a male comes close and then like you can see here then they they mate so where we can see it here we have one a pair mating on this cocoon you see that the big one here this one on top is the female and the male that's waving the wings now this is uh, the smaller one mostly it's uh, that way and of course this is a complete cocoon here um, we will see that we put a white paper on the bottom of this box for egg laying because the females as soon as they have made it they will lay their eggs and if I have a white paper I just can collect the eggs by uh, with a scissor I just cut the eggs out and put them to the refrigerator until next spring because I have to wait until the mulberry trees start blossoming and then I can wake the eggs up and then they can start feeding on the fresh mulberry leaves. Here's another pair so let's see whether we can have a closer look of the whole bunch of up of mulberry silkworms that are now here yeah I think uh, where's the pair here's another pair you see this one here this is the male here and this is the female so let's see whether we can take them off here well, yeah sometimes uh, yeah this one in that case okay also here this is the cocoon that is already open so there's nothing in here anymore except this pair sitting on the cocoon so I can put them in here also in this box and as soon as they have finished mating they will prepare for egg laying. So what we can also see here is this brownish material sometimes it's drying out uh, late this is the meconium it's all the um, metabolized materials from the larval uh, stage of this animal that they don't use anymore as cat uh, as adult so they uh, eject this uh, fluid um, yeah normally a caterpillar um, uh, an adult butterfly can only fly away when it has ejected the meconium but of course these uh, domesticated animals they are used to be fed by humans since around 6,000 years, so they have lost their ability to fly around. But they're still nice animals to see. They crawl around here. Of course, they don't live very long because they don't have any mouse parts anymore to eat and no digestive tract anymore. They just uh, uh, take all the reserves that they gained from in the larval stage and then they die. Yeah, of course also I have to take out all these um, cocoons that already an adult came out. These cocoons you can't use anymore to reel the silk because the, the silk thread here is cut out by this fluid. You can, you can see here, this is a fluid, a serizase, that's an enzyme that can make the silk um, like to a, to a fluid again and so this is a uh, cocoon is destroyed for really but you can uh, of course also make silk of this but you have to spin it like uh, cotton yeah also a nice animal 
to to breed and watch the life cycle and think about what you can use from this uh, animal. You can use not only the silk but also in most countries where they are cultivated where people eat the pupas that are very rich in important essential amino acids and fats. Thanks for watching.